every child has the right to life, especially those who are diagnosed with Down syndrome. Unfortunately, that is not what the Democrat Pennsylvania governor had to say. Let's get into it, guys. Welcome to the conservative truth. If you don't mind really quick giving this video a like, share it across all of your platforms to help me spread the word. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to enable notifications. But keep checking back here to the channel on a regular basis because content such as this and this subject that I'm talking about is going to be heavily censored by YouTube. And I don't want you guys to miss anything. Now, getting into this, Pennsylvania Democrat Governor Tom Wolf rejecting vetoing a bill that was approved by both the Senate and the House that would protect babies who are diagnosed with Down syndrome from being aborted. That's right. It passed in both chambers of the Congress, and yet the Democrat governor says, no, this is a violation of women's rights. This violates the women's right to choose, and he signed the veto. Now, I'm going to put a video clip down below in the description. You guys can watch Tom Wolf actually making this statement and signing the veto, refusing to protect babies with Down syndrome. Basically, what the bill said is that if a doctor, there's a prenatal diagnosis uh, that lets a woman know that, hey, there's a potential that your baby could have Down syndrome, this bill would have protected those babies. Women would not be able to get an abortion if she would have had a diagnosis uh, that said that this child may possibly have Down syndrome. Those babies would have been protected. But the governor, he completely spit on that despite it being passed, and he said no. This goes to show you that the culture we're living in right now, it's not a culture of life, it's a culture of death that is being promoted. And this governor, what he's effectively saying is that babies that have Down syndrome have no right to life whatsoever because he doesn't view them as being viable. He doesn't view them as anybody that would potentially have a future in this world because of their condition. And I can get a little bit heated on this because I have a disability myself, me being blind. And, you know, God forbid if there was a diagnosis that, oh, I might have been born blind, that, you know, I, I could have been possibly aborted uh, because of a decision like this. Now, I wasn't born blind. I've only been fully blind for about a year and a half now. But even still, I, I believe every child should be protected, disability or not. But this is just sick. And uh, this governor is going to have to answer to God for it. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments section. What do you think about this legislation being vetoed? Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I will talk with you soon.